hi guys and welcome back to my channel i am so excited because we are talking <gasps> chanel i love this fragrance i've mentioned it before on my channel maybe a year ago this is i call it my signature fragrance it's kind of like it's kind of like my armani luminous silk it's it's my go-to so I do use other fragrances, but I mainly wear Chanel Coco Mademoiselle because it makes me happy and it smells good on me. Like some fragrances smell good on other people and then you put it on yourself and you're like, mm. <laughs> I remember, this is so funny, side note. I was trying out, I was leaving a department store and Lagos, the perfume lady goes, try this new perfume. And I normally go, no, that's okay, but thank you. I decided to try it. And she sprayed it in the air and I was like, oh my gosh, that smells amazing. And she puts it on me and she goes, I've never had this perfume smell as bad as it does on you. I've, I was just like, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, the, it just completely changed because of course we all have different body chemistries. Anyway, let's talk about it. We are talking about the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Velvet Body Oil Spray. And it came in this pretty box as most of the uh, Mademoiselle Chanel stuff comes in. And it looks like this. It retails for $60. This is plastic, so it's not glass like uh, one of the perfume bottles. It's plastic, which I'm okay with. Some people feel like it probably should be glass or higher end, um, but I like the plastic because it's a body oil and it's a spray, which is nice. This doesn't twist on, this just comes down. It's just pretty. It's clear, it's, it's very simplistic, very Chanel. All right, it is a velvety oil, Perfume with the feminine and sexy, young and exciting scent contains emollients, moisturizers, and conditioners for a pampering treatment that softens, hydrates, soothes, and scents. It has 6.8 ounces. And yeah, I've been trying it out for a few days so that I could tell you guys what I think. I'm going to do another video, but I'm going to release, release them at the same time concerning their soaps and uh, their um, shower gel. The reason I wanted to do two separate videos is because when people like me, when I search for stuff, I search for specific things and I just didn't want to do a whole big video of Chanel stuff. Instead, people can kind of find it. I don't know. That's why you guys see me do individual stuff most of the time because when I search YouTube for stuff to find out, oh, let me see how this looks or whatever, I search for specific stuff. So if you're wondering why I do individual things, that is why I do individual things because of how I search. So, okay, let's talk about my experience with this. Now, I have it on my body. I didn't put it on this arm so that I can spray it and show you guys how it sprays. So it's a mist and it mists very well. And the smell is amazing. And is it moisturizing? That's the thing. This is a velvet, it call, they call it a velvet body oil. And I was like, why do they call it velvet body oil? Let me tell you something. First of all, oh my gosh. The smell is so good. I love this fragrance. It does not, first of all, it does not leave an oily film. You know how, you know, there's some oils that are really thick this is very light and it does not leave an oily film it is it's soft but what i noticed is i was like man it feels like it dries into like a powder like a really fine soft powder that's on your skin that's the way i only can describe it like a yeah velvety powder um and it just feels nice. So my husband touched my skin. He was like, oh, did you, did 
did you do your uh, scrub? And I was like, mm-mm. He said, well, what, what is that? He said, it smells good, too. Is that your, is that your new uh, body stuff? I was like, mm-hmm. He's like, you're soft. <laughs> yeah, it makes you feel velvety. Is it the most moisturizing thing ever? No, I wouldn't compare this to a cream. They have a body cream, which I plan on trying. They have also a body lotion. I wouldn't compare this to, oh, this is replacing my Nivea or, you know, this is going to hydrate me throughout the winter. No, but is it is it moisturizing? Yes, not to the extent of a cream or I wouldn't even say to the extent of a thick lotion. It's just a light moisture with the scent of the perfume that is more light. It's a lighter scent. So it smells the same, but it's not as strong as the perfume. And the scent lasts for lasts for about a few hours or more, like four, four or five hours max. Um, when I woke up, and throughout the day, it it was gone. So I would definitely say to layer it with the perfume if you want if you want the scent to last all day. Because putting this on, the perfume lasts all day. That's what I love about the perfume. I just do a few spritz, and it lasts all day. So is this something you can buy and not purchase the perfume? Sure, you can. Uh, but this will the scent will last about. A few hours and then it, it's, it goes away but the velvety feeling does not go away <laughs> it's great <laughs> I love it it's yeah it's great yeah it's amazing but I would still say you would if you're looking for moisture moisture you would still need to moisturize um, this is more of a light moisture yeah it's a light moisture but it's nice it's nice it's really nice and I will definitely be buying this again. <laughs> so I wanted to tell you guys my experience with this velvet body oil. And I think it's amazing. I love it. Yes, I keep, I keep rubbing my arm. But yes, it's amazing and I love it. I hope that helped you guys to see if it's something that you want to purchase or not. I hope you have an amazing hump day. And I will see you next time. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, I love this. <laughs>